Hi, I'm Michael Clarkson. I'm the brand manager at Catapult. The Playatech is a revolutionary GPS tracking system um, which allows footballers to raise the game. Essentially, we bring in technology which has been available only to the elite teams made accessible to footballers of any level. And within the technology, there is a GPS system which allows us to track things like distance, sprints, heat maps or positioning on the pitch, as well as top speed. So with that, players can then understand their performance, what they're doing in the game, what they're doing in training, and ultimately try to get the right balance between training and game and improve the performance at a physical level. So Playtex is made up of three components. We have uh, the garment. So this you might have seen similarly worn by elite players on things like Sky Sports News. So this is the pod. Um, the pod is very lightweight and small uh, and sits in the pocket, simply turned on with the button. Um, and when outside, that captures GPS signal uh, within seconds. So within the Playtech app, once we have synced our data, we can begin to see our uh, statistics and how we performed in the game. So first of all I can see my season view and that allows me to see how many games and training sessions I've done and also what my personal best is to date across the four key metrics uh, being distance, top speed, uh, sprint distance and number of sprints. So I'm going to look at my last session which is actually a, a match. So in this game I've hit 54% of what a professional would do in a game um, and I can see very clearly that my, my distance and my top speed have been pretty good my distance is at 73% of what a professional would do, top speed at 82%. But actually where I've let myself down is more on the sprints and sprint distance. And actually one of the, the key differentiators between the elite level and amateur level is the ability not only to hit the sprint speed, but to repeatedly do that throughout the, throughout the game or the training session. And then there's also um, kind of an, an insight here that allows me to understand, well, um, I've probably trained a bit too hard yesterday um, and in order to avoid fatigue the day before the game you need to try and keep the, the training sessions a bit lower in order to periodize properly. Uh, moving on I can look at then my heat map so I can see my position on the pitch and then when I click on that it becomes even more apparent. So I can look at my sprints um, and there's a ton of sprints that's happened outside the 18 yard box in the first half but very few in the second half. And then underneath that I can see a five minute breakdown so I can begin to get a story of how the game's evolved and one of the key things around physical performance is being able to maintain your physical performance throughout. And from this I can see that first half has kind of been this peak halfway through. But from that moment on, especially when you look at sprints, in this first half versus second half, in the second half I've only hit four sprints. And then the final screen, I can compare my first half and second half. Distance is pretty much 50-50. Um, again, top speed is not too far behind but my ability to be able to maintain sprints and sprint distance in the second half hasn't been really good enough. It's genuinely amazing to see our technology be used all the way from the grassroots level, whether it's Sunday league or casual kind of five-a-side player with their friends, all the way up to that kind of the best in the world. I think for me, the personal highlight is the kind of the stories um, that we get from entire spectrum of football in terms of what value the technology brings to them to improve their performance. It's really great to see amateur grassroots football really embracing the technology and at the moment we have over 2,000 sessions uploaded every single day.